Hello, this is Jason Jones, and in this video I'd like to demonstrate my technique for marking and orienting a diffractive extended range of vision lens. In this case, I've marked the limbus using a dry sense key at the slit lamp preoperatively, the three, six, nine o'clock positions, and I'm using a new fresh sense key in the operating room uh, loaded with methylene blue dye from an ink pad to delineate the reference marks from the slit lamp and then a Mendez ring to orient my marks for final orientation of the lens implant. This is going to be a toric extended range of vision lens. Now after removal of the cataract and cortex, we're then going to move on to curating the capsular bag and then finally implanting the lens. I like to load my own lens in the cartridge. I find this gives me a sense of security in terms of how the lens is delivered. And then using a two-handed technique with assistance from my uh, scrub tech, I'll place the lens into the capsular bag and I'll bring up my ring light array for orienting the centration of this lens. It is important to have thorough evacuation of viscoelastic from behind the optic as well as from the anterior chamber. And then I'll gently nudge this lens into position, observing my orientating marks on the IOL as well as the limbus, looking for at least a parallel orientation in this slightly oblique case at 32 degrees. I'm also going to observe here for concentric alignment to the ring light array that you see here and I'm asking at this time the patient to look, to look towards the central fixation light in the center of the optic. This allows for best orientation and an excellent result.